competitive sport and the greatest thing to ever happen to us. And it will be, it'll really be all flushed out in the next three or four years. It's going to be great. Just a lot of work. First thing I said when I told you guys we did this deal is <laughs> a lot of work, man. There's a lot of work to be done. But uh, Gunny Nelson said he wouldn't mind fighting again soon. Did so did Pickett. Yeah. Pickett said he wants to fight in Australia. So. Do you think we'd see Gunnar Nelson before the end we'll of the We'll see year? what happens. You know, we're, we're, we're always looking for guys, and guys are always getting hurt. And so this was, this was actually one of those cards that stayed together, finally. You know, finally, hopefully this is the beginning of a streak where guys are going to stop getting injured. Uh, what about John Hathaway? Do you think he's top five now in the welterweight? That fight was horrendous. That fight was terrible. That was the only bad fight on the card tonight. Terrible card. Terrible fight. I was so excited about that fight too. Exactly. I mean, they were further down on the card than they were at the press conference. I would assume because you guys had high expectations. Yep. I thought that fight was going to be really good. <clears throat> they didn't fight. He just stayed in half guard, and, you know. And then McGuire didn't wake up till the third round. So. So he's not top five. Huh? <laughs> he's not top five. Oh no, I'm not saying he's not. Um, that kid keeps growing too. That's how big and strong he's starting to look, man. Yeah, just a shitty fight. The fight was terrible. Yeah, you know what though? When that fight, when that fight started, and those guys, Wyman's throwing elbows from the top. He's working. He's doing it. You know, Wyman's a grinder, man. That that kid, you can't sleep on Matt Wyman. And I think Sass underestimated his his game. You know. Um, and Wyman's just a dog, man. That, that kid, he, I got a lot of respect for him. He, he looked awesome tonight. To come out and submit him, be one thing if you knock him out or something, and, and you could call Sass a one-trick pony and, and all the shit you could say. But he, he beat him at his own game. It's awesome. Huge win. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I got so much shit to deal with when I get home. I've been on the road for two weeks. Been on the phone with Lorenzo all day today. I got piles, prob fucking problems piled up to the roof for me when I get home. I can't wait to get home. Are you and Jones good again now? After? Yeah, we're cool. We're cool. You still you thinking Dan Henderson and Machida, right? Like a playoff for a title shot. Any idea when? Huh? Any idea when? When? Machida and Dan Henderson. No. Oh. Yeah, just a real quick one. The show next week's in Minneapolis. And the move there was an Indianapolis spot that never came about. But are there talks about going back to Indy? I know you did it. Yeah, no, we will go back to Indy. It's a good market, and, 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 and we love it there. But, uh, um, fuck, what happened? What happened? What happened? I don't remember what happened either. Something happened and we had to move it. Something happened and we had to move that out of that date. Something. I, I don't remember exactly what it was, but um, yeah, we'll we'll go back to Indy. Had nothing to do with Indianapolis. Like, like we thought we couldn't sell tickets there or something like that. We had nothing. Yeah, I don't remember what the deal was, but we moved it. But it was one of those things too. Like we never really announced that we were going to Indy. People knew that that was a potential. And then we, we moved it to, to, to Minnesota, and it was like, oh, my God, what happened to... That doesn't count as a yeah, it was, card. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That wasn't a 151 or a, or a Utah when we did... Uh, remember when we did Utah? Yeah, yeah. Two weeks before the fight, we moved it to San Diego and sold more tickets the first day in San Diego than we did, like, five weeks on sale in Utah. Safe to say we will never go to Utah again. Yeah, yeah, that was a, that was a bad idea. Yeah, bad idea. You recently said some really good things about women's MMA. Um, has, does that mean that you're kind of changing your stance? I mean, originally you were very much against it, and with Invicta doing so well, and um, Ronda Rousey, I know you're a big fan of hers. I mean, what's today's Dana saying about women's MMA? Yeah, it's not that I, that I changed my position on women's MMA. I still believe that there are... Uh, that there's the, the weight, you know, there's not, not it's not deep enough for to, to have a complete weight division and put on fights all the time. But yeah, there's no secret. I've, you know, I've been pretty, uh, pretty, pretty honest about my uh, my feelings about Ronda Rousey. I think she's fucking awesome. 
I think she's mean. I think she's nasty. Um, and uh, she's a real fighter, and I like watching her fight. So I think that there are going to be some fun fights with Ronda. Um, and you got Cyborg, if she could move down, or Ronda, whatever happens there. But there's still, there's still some fun fights for Ronda and, and some of the other women, too. But you'd have to do some one-offs. On the UFC card? I don't know. We'll see what happens. I mean, they, they fight for strike force. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I, I've said publicly, I absolutely, positively would bring Ronda Rousey into the UFC. Yes. I do. I, th I think she's a big thing now. She's already done things that we couldn't get done. I mean, she's been on talk shows that we could never fucking get on. She's done uh, magazines and sold covers of magazines. She, she was the... Again, this is what I heard. Every time I say I hear something, fucking uh, the company hears I said it and said, that's fucking... Uh. I heard that she was the best-selling cover of ESPN, The Body Issue. That was what I heard. So I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I heard. So my point is, yeah, she is a breakthrough. She's one of those breakthrough stars. And uh, I told you, you guys saw I went to the Sons of Anarchy premiere with her. When we got out of the car, the whole fucking place erupted like she was on the show or something. You know, she is, she's there. It's just a matter of time before somebody like Nike signs her the way they I think Nike should, Nike, Gatorade, Under Armour, friggin' any of those big name guys should sign her. Yeah, I, I think that she'd be a winner for any of them. Just a quick question on the main event. Did it surprise you how good Struve looked in the stand -up? How good Struve was? In the stand -up? No. Guy's awesome, man. He's, he's very well-rounded. He's great on the, on the ground. He's great on his feet. And he's got such height and reach advantage, reach advantage on, on everybody, you know? Uh, he looked good. He took some big shots tonight, too. A colleague, uh, John Joe Rogan, spoke to Reagan, uh, Reagan spoke to um, Rick Jackson a couple of days ago. Um, first of all, has the beef with him being squashed? And secondly, do you still really believe that he's a sport killer, given what we've seen from Watson um, out of the Jackson camp tonight? <laughs> so, when I sat down with John Jones and we talked, I made a deal with John. So, I'm not going to say anything about Greg Jackson. I think you guys know my opinion and how I feel. It hasn't changed. I'm just not going to talk about Greg Jackson. This deal that you've made, is it good news for Greg Jackson? Yeah. Yeah? It's good news. I will keep my big mouth shut about Greg Jackson. It's part, that's part of my deal with Jones. Because he wins a lot of bonuses. I mean, as much as, you know, problems you've had with him, his guys... It's, it's not that I, that I dislike the guy. I don't, I don't dislike him at all. I don't dislike him at all. It's just his, his philosophies and his, his business... Not his philosophies. His business conflicts with my business. That's, that's the big problem. I do believe John Jones' arm would be feeling a lot better right now if he didn't listen to Greg Jackson. And that's all I'm going to say. That's the end of it. How is the arm finally? Any, any I, I, I don't think it's as bad as everybody thought it was. Is he going to fight this year again? No. I don't know about this year, but yeah, he, I, think he's, I think he'll be good. I don't think there's any real damage there. I think he's going to be fine. What's your take on the whole uh, Jones Nike deal? Like, do you think it's a big thing for the sport? Are you, I think uh, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah, I think it's awesome. Yeah, Nike's behind him, man. They're they're behind him. They dig having him as one of their athletes, and it's good stuff. Do you think like the day's coming where we have like a a, a black canvas mat? Yeah. Too. You think like a swoosh in the octagon one day, just a black mat with a big night tick or something? Anything's possible, yeah. Anything's possible. And like he was saying before, I think Ronda Rousey's another one that Nike could go after. And there's a lot of other guys that are talented, good dudes in this sport that I think Nike would line up well with. And uh, yeah, it could be the future. Do you actively reach out to sponsors yourself like that as the UFC or do you wait for them to, I mean as a company, like does yeah. the UFC reach out to Adidas, Nike? We're, we're always talking to people. I used to do that, I don't do that anymore. But yeah, yeah we do. Batista from WWE makes his MMA debut next week, is that something you were Who, who does? Batista? Batista? Where's he fighting? It's, uh, not quite sure. 
Broadway show. It's in the arena called the Dunkin' Donuts Arena. The Dunkin' Donuts Arena? Yeah, it must be back east somewhere. Who, who's he fighting? He was fighting a guy called Rashid Evans. A lot of people thought he was Rashid Evans. <laughs> That's a fight. Apparently there's a bit of a mix up with his opponents, so they're not sure whether he has an opponent now or not. But How old is Batista? About 42, 43. How old? 42, 43. Oh shit. 42. Is he not in the WWE anymore? No. Well, Why he's not? He's been training MMA quite seriously for years. He's been training with um, Cesar Grayson. With Cesar? Yeah. And Stephen Bourne as well. Hey, good for him, man. If he can do it, good for him, you know? Really? Good for him, man. Hey, listen, I, I don't know the guy. I don't know anything about it or anything about him, but, you know, it's cool. I, I think it's great if other guys are getting involved in MMA and, and, uh, and he wants to give it a shot, you know? If he was able to rack up a few decent wins, would you consider taking him on? What's, I what's couldn't like, honestly answer that question. I'd have to, I'd have to see what happens. What would you say your upper age limit is? When Brock came to me and he was one and zero, told me he wanted to fight in MMA. I said, "You fucking crazy, dude! You're gonna get killed over here." You know. And the only reason I took him into the UFC was because of his wrestling background. You know. I said, "We'll give it a shot," and look what he did. So, never say never. Plus, Brock was, you know, still relatively young. Yeah, but a guy like Batista, like, what's, what's the oldest kind of age you would consider to take a well, guy on? The other thing, it's not even about me considering taking him on. Will the Athletic Commission approve him, you know? I mean, to come fight in the UFC, you're fighting, <laughs> fighting real guys. You're fighting tough guys. So the Athletic Commission would have to agree with it, too. Yeah. I mean, we, we always do the right thing in, in picking guys that, you know, we know aren't going to get outclassed and get hurt really bad and do some bad matchmaking, you know? But... Uh, I don't know. It's it's all. I mean, it's all speculation. I don't I don't know what would happen or what what he's going to do in his career. So we'd have to see. Just to bring you back to sponsorship. Um, I remember you not being a big fan of um, UFC sponsoring uh, fighters. UFC sponsoring fighters. Um, Somebody asked me that tonight. Has well has the fact. Not a big fan of it. I still don't like it. So, all right, okay. Where do we stand then on um, UFC we're, sponsorship of fighters? I think we're, you know, I, I hope we're on our way to phasing it out. I don't like it. It was a decision that was made, and uh, I don't think it was the best decision. So, we'll see what happens.